Hello guys, welcome to Tutorials Point. Now this video would be focusing on how do I use XPath as a locator for my HTML elements. So first of all, what is XPath? XPath is termed as XML path. Basically, it is a syntax or language for finding any element for a web page using the XPath or the expression. Now, how do we actually get it? See, I'm having an element, uh, input element onto my XPath. XPath can be of two types, absolute and relative. So this is an XPath in which we are trying to find an input whose name is username. Now, why do we need XPath? We need XPath because it can give the location of any element on a web page, but it is based on HTML DOM. For finding an export of an element, we actually used the Firepath plugin. That was the plugin into a fire bug, which we installed previously in our previous videos. So, like I said, this so this is an export saying, you know, input at the rate name username. So this would return the input which input which is having the name as username, which would be unique on my entire page. Now let's quickly see how can we identify elements using Firepath. Uh, fire onto our screens. We have already, you know, seen like the how XPath uh, works and why do we need to use XPath. Now let's actually see, you know, how we can identify an element using XPath, right? So for that, I quickly request you to kindly open up your Firefox. In my Firefox browser, I simply navigate to the website at distributorspoint.com. Now here, say I want to find the XPath of this particular element where I am typing my search. So there are many options which we have been using. One is the by default debugger, like the web debugger of the browser and another is the firebug. But if you can recall carefully, uh, we had installed firepath into our Firefox. Now I simply select that, you know, that uh, inspect the element in firepath. Now what is actually firepath? Firepath actually gives me the X path of any element that I am choosing, like for this one, the X path is this. This entire X path points to this particular element. Let me show you how. First of all, it comes to the HTML in the body, in the body, in the third div, then in that third div into the first div, then the div, the div, the div right after, and then the form and the second input. If you can look at carefully in the HTML, in the body, in the one, two, and three, third div, then in the third div, go to the first div, then the div right after it, the next div, the next div. Here, go to the form that is available and in the form, go to the second input. So, not much to be done. Like, we can easily identify this element using the name and ID, right? But Firepath is used when, you know, if we are not able to find any of the, you know, element or any of the propositions available. Now this path is known as the absolute X path and because it starts from the right starting of the, you know, the starting of the position or the starting of the uh, element like the HTML tag over here, right? So what we have to do is, if in case we are finding an element using X path, we simply need to, you know, in our web element when we are finding the web element, we go to you know driver dot find element and there we path by dot x path. Now what we will do is we will quickly open up our eclipse and I'll in a, in our eclipse I will show you how we can actually you know find elements using the x path. So I have a project created already that is locator by x path demo. In this one I am creating a new class. I named the class as locator xpath demo. I create the main function and I click on finish. So what is the first thing that we always do is to set the property. What property is to be set we are aware it's webdriver dot geeko dot driver. Here we are passing Geeko driver. So now what we do is we simply create the object of the driver. We 
web driver driver equal to new mounted driver now we import the web driver after this we get now by get I mean what URL I want to open up now here what I'll do is I'll create a new element name the element as search box and will find this particular element Here I need to pass the X path. What I'll do, I'll go to my Firefox, copy this X path, paste it right here in the middle. So this should correctly identify my element. And after this, I'll send some keys. In the key, I'll type Selenium. So what I've done is I have actually created a you know a new web driver. I have gotten the URL or like I loaded up the page. After this, I have passed the X path by which I want to find the element, and then that is a search box I know. So I clear it and I send the key Selenium into it, right? Now let me run this test case and show the result onto my execution on my Firefox. So this is a Firefox to open up tutorials point and here selenium has been typed over here what else we can also do is like say uh, we can uh, once selenium we have typed selenium then we can click on the search button and user would be redirected to the selenium tutorial or the search result where we show such options right Obviously after this just put a small break by you know by saying that thread dot sleep for like say 5000 milliseconds It should be always under the you know we should always throw some exception in case you know we this is interrupted After this simply driver dot quit Guys make sure that you are making the driver quit otherwise the you know the instance of the web driver will keep on executing and will occupy your memory so selenium it will wait for five seconds and closed so this was very simple a basic functionality wherein you know we are uh, using our x path to identify a particular element so thank you guys for tuning in this was all about the locators hope you enjoyed